Hello, sorry, friends. So in today's edition of Midwest Sondir, we're gonna bring two long swords and we're gonna make a comparison between two long swords. The biggest difference lies in the blade material. One is petal welded and another one is spring steel, which is a two material which we commonly use in Sodir factory. So let's try to make a comparison and to see which one you're gonna like or you're gonna pick from our website. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start from spring steel one. All right, to be honest, I have been seeing this a lot. Spring steel has like a really good flex strength and also the edge rotation is pretty good. So let's try to appreciate this long sword we just created. So start from the overlook of the sword. So first of all, it's like a really a plain leather wrap scabbard and also with those uh, stainless steel fittings as the protection of the tip and also for the a collar right here. So this is like a really common practice as well. And to be honest, all those, uh, even the cross guard and also the pommel is made of stainless steel. And the reason why we designed uh, using the stainless steel is because you don't get a lot of improvements. Sometimes when you have this sword in your home, you in, in your backyard and also some outdoor life, uh, it might get uh, some like dirt or some uh, water splashing on it. You don't want to get those erosion. It's just sometimes it's hard to erase them. So that's a pretty good thing. So when you have a sword from Sodir, it's all stainless steel. From the overlook, it's really a classic uh, wheel pommel. It's kind of heavy, but it gives confidence when you do all those heavy cuttings. Right? And the hip length of the spring steel one is 25.5 centimeters. And also, of course, it's wrapped up with this rope cord. Uh, it feels really comfortable. Uh, it just hold it with your bare hand and uh, it can easily absorb your sweat when you use it a lot. It has like a really a strong grip right there. And also talking about the cross guard, the lens, to be honest, it's kind of different from this two sword. This one is 25 centimeters cross guard. Remember, uh, especially some common practice in so dear, we have this 21 centimeter cross guard, the lens I'm talking about. And also let's just unsheath the blade and uh, take a, a clear look of this blade. So we're the classic. Actually, this is a, one of our best sellers for this long sword. If you based on the Oki Shot topologies, it's uh, Type 15A, designed to the historical craftsmanship. And this is the spring steel you will have. And also the bullet length is 90 centimeters. So this is a really common practice. When you have it from a deer, the long sword, the blade length normally is 90 centimeters. The whole length of this blade is normally around 130 centimeters. And also you will see this beautiful ridge line all the way to the tip right here. So now we have to talk about the thickness of the blade. The one you are looking at right now here is six millimeters, the thickness. And it distal tapered, of course, but not that much. The whole weight of this blade now without scabbard is 1640 gram it's because with a reasonable distance tapered you have a like really good balance point the one i'm having here is 10 centimeters almost from here so basically this sword is designed for the cutting practice you will see a lot from our youtube channel you see all those cutting practice performances and also it can maneuver the thrusting really easily as well. So that's why I'm saying if you are a long sword lover, this one is designed for the heavy cutting. You, with the spring steel, you don't have to worry about it snap crack and also it has like a really good flex strength. And we tested it in our factory, it's around like a 15 kilogram the flex strength. So it's pretty, pretty good. And also the, the width, the width of the blade right here we are looking at is five centimeters and all the way to profile tapered all to the tip right here and um, it looks slim but it feels really comfortable and the thickness of the blade near here is 3.5 millimeters so like what I said it's not this to tapered very much but it can bend all the weight of the cross guard the palmos 
and it made a really really good point of balance so you have the confidence and I'm very comfortable to do all those cuttings and also do the thrusting maneuvers as well with a good balance point and with the right thickness of the blade you will just cut it just clean and beautiful all right so this is pretty much everything about this spring steel now you know what i will just i will just put it right here we can make a better comparison and now let's move on to this pattern welded so from the overlook of this pattern welded it is definitely different uh, other than the tip protection stainless steel as well we have some like a leather engraving those uh, emblem on it to make it more um, authentic to probably the knighthood to be honest i did a lot of research about this sort before we design it if you based on the op shot topology actually it's german long sword type 18b so if you check i'm not sure if i'm doing it right by researching online you can also share with me your thoughts on this design the geometries and also the design features so basically this is what i get from the internet before we design it and also uh, the cross guard uh, this is the most obvious part you can tell from this one is only 21 centimeters and also the length of the hit is a little bit shorter 24 centimeters this one is 25.5 centimeters and also the pommel we use design of this stand stopper so or all paint to be honest i i hope hopefully i didn't left that out uh, it's all pinned palm right here. You will see a clearer look from here. So it makes this uh, the whole latching and also the sword is reliable and you don't have to worry about it. Just after a few cuts, you have to worry about it. It's, it's getting loose or it won't stable. And also the whole scabbard fits in the sword. It's pretty good. Like what I did right here, you see it just fit in second in very well so very safe to use it now it's the time to show the true face of this pattern welded long sword to be honest it's one of my favorite as well because it one thing is pattern welded and uh, if you talking about the pattern welded steel it's one traditional way of forging blade in long chain city and this is why the city famous for and also it's lightweight compared to the spring steel which we have here now with our scabbard the whole blade is only 16 grams so i can hold it in one handed very easily or i can just fit it in two handed you can just maneuver the sword do the cutting and thrusting very easily right so this is the beautiful part let's dive into the features of this pattern welded first of all i want to make a comparison between these two sword so as you can see the cross guard is different this one is only 21 centimeter i mean the length of the cross guard and also the pommel is different as i have been introduced before and also the length of the hilt is only 24 centimeters and also the biggest feature lies in the blade itself um, as you can see, the blade surface with the pattern welded pattern on it, so it's one thing that's different. But don't when you look at all the blade surface, you will see, oh, is that a fuller's two fuller's right here? No, that's not. It, it does not have the fuller on the blade, but with this uh, tile design on the blade surface, so it not just decrease the blade, it has this diamond shape, it enhances the stabilities and also the strength of the blade so now you check out this blade right here it's also beautifully tapered so well compared to the spring steel one now the thickness the thickness of this blade is eight millimeter from the cross guard part right here but when you move on to the tip right here it's only 3.5 millimeter so when you have like a really beautifully distal tapered blade in your hand you have a really good balance point for this sword so that's why i guess i'm saying it's one of my favorite long sword and it, the point of balance of this blade is 11 centimeters right and this is the size you guys preferred all right i know you guys all right so basically with all those beautiful features right here you have this beautiful sword right here so now is the question if you were knight you gonna go to the battleground which sword are you gonna use you can leave your opinions on the comment sections and also 
feel welcome to check out our website, sawdeer.com, to find this beautiful tool sort. And also, I believe you can make the right choices after what I reviewed and talked about this tool long sort. All right, so guys, stay tuned and stay sharp. Bye-bye.